Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a very powerful design app called Canva that helps you create amazing social media posts. Now Canva is available as a free download from the iTunes store and it works on your iPhone and iPad. Incidentally, it's also available as a web browser version so you can use it on a laptop or desktop computer as well. Today, however, we're going to be looking at how it works specifically on the iPhone 6S Plus. When you download and install the app, the first thing you need to do is to create a Canva account. And you can do this by entering your email credentials or by using the Facebook login API. It only takes a few seconds to connect and then you're ready to go. At the top of the screen, you'll see a number of icons for different types of templates that you can choose from. There are layouts specifically designed for social media, including Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you're into print design, there are even templates for posters, cards, flyers, and invitations. I won't have time to go through all of these today. Instead, I'll just show you a sample of social media posts using the Instagram layout option. Once you've seen this and downloaded the app yourself, you can play around with all the other layout options that are available. Let's start with Instagram by tapping on the Instagram icon, which is the second one from the left top of the screen. If you scroll down the page, there are a number of pre-built layouts using photos and text examples that have been chosen by the developers of the app. The aim is to find the one that is the closest to your requirements and then simply edit over the text and image to make it your own. I found one about halfway down the list of options, which I really like. So I'll tap on this to use it as our example. The first thing I'll do is to replace the image with one from my own camera roll photo library. To do this, I simply tap on the photo itself, then tap on the replace icon, locate my image, and then tap to insert. Now I'll tap once on the font to reveal the font parameters, including font size and color, and then double tap the text to change the actual wording. That's pretty much it. If you're happy with the look, you're just about ready to post. If you're looking for further inspiration, tap on the text icon at the bottom of the screen to bring up popular sayings, and also the elements icon that allows you to add unique graphic elements to your post. If you don't have any images in your camera roll that suit your needs, you can access millions of stock photos directly within the Canva app. Simply tap on the background photo again, and tap on replace. This time, instead of searching through your camera roll, tap on the search field that appears directly beneath the photo image, and type in your desired keyword. Scroll through the images until you find what you're looking for, then tap to add. The images are stock photos, as I mentioned, and usually cost around one credit, which is around two to three dollars, depending on where you live. You can buy the credits in the next step, just before you publish your image. Once you've done this, you're ready to post. Click on the share menu item on the top right of the screen, and you can share to any of your social media platforms directly from within the Canva app. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit me up with a like. Also consider subscribing to the channel and you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. If you've got any comments or questions, feel free to put them in the comments box below. And also if you've come across any amazing apps yourself and you wanna share them with our channel members, put them in the comments box as well. Thanks for watching, until next time, bye for now.